So you created an account on eBay or Amazon and all of a sudden your account got banned. In this video, I'm going to talk about why your account get banned and what to do if you are in this situation. It is very important to understand why these accounts get banned at the first place. And then obviously, if we know the reason, this is how we can avoid getting banned. And if the account got banned, we can actually get it back as well. So let's get started. So first of all, once you create an account on eBay, you need to make sure that you are using exact to exact right details. You are using your name as it's shown on your password or any official government ID. And also you're using a original address as well. You are OK to use a virtual address as well. If you are somebody don't want to use your personal home address or personal business address as well, you can buy a virtual address online. They are not that expensive but it is very important to use the address in a correct manner as well especially when it comes to the postcode and the street name as well a lot of time people just like you know don't put their original name they just use some sort of nickname as well and that might be the reason your account is getting banned at the first place the second reason that your account is getting banned because your details that you're using it might be blacklisted already in this point number two i'm talking about the details as well i will get more technical in a point number three so when i say your details in the past you might have created an account on ebay or amazon and and if you are using the same details to create an account again, you might be blacklisted already and straight away your eBay account will get banned or Amazon account will get banned as well because you are already blacklisted from that platform. So in the third one, it gets a little bit more technical because the computer or mobile device that you are using or your internet connection, your IP address might also be blacklisted. So you might never have created an account in the past. You are using all the correct details and what happened that your account get banned instantly. But in that scenario, someone who have created an account using that computer or using that mobile device, if it's a new mobile device or or it's a new computer or you are like 100% sure nobody have created an account which got banned using these equipment then in that case scenario it must be your wi-fi connection your ip address is already blacklisted ebay and amazon they do track the with the terms of cookies like almost every website they nowadays they track your cookies and every time like once you go on a website you have to click on accept cookies as well so with the cookies they leave some sort of file inside your system that file actually keep the record of the pages that you visit the the internet activity that you do so if you are banned like in the terms of ip address or in the terms of device that you're using in this case you're also gonna get banned again even though you never have created an account in the past so in a point number four let's say your all the details are correct you are using a new mobile phone you have a new sim card it never been used before to create an account on eBay, you're not blacklisted, everything is fine. You created an account and your account still got banned. Majority of time, I will talk about the other reasons as well and I will talk about what to do if your account got banned. But majority of time, what people will do, especially the new sellers, they will create an account and straight away they will do 20, 30 different products. Like they will list all those products and they belong to different types of category. So let's say one is mobile phone and accessories and that the same time you're selling some coins or some cloths or some sort of different items as well what we need to understand drop shipping on ebay and amazon it's a gray area ebay and amazon want you to get away with it the reason for that because they make money from sellers even though they will say you know drop shipping blah 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 all different policies as well but what we need to realize ebay and amazon make money when you sell something on amazon or ebay they deduct the fee from that transaction they don't make money from a buyer but they want you to provide a good experience to your buyers as well if you're a new seller you don't have an experience you're listing all different types of item what they suspect that you might not be able to provide a good experience might be customer get the order late all that kind of stuff as well so what i want to do is once you create a new account what i suggest 
use that account first to buy something. Like once you create an account on eBay and Amazon, you can buy something as a buyer. So the seller where you're buying from, they will leave you a feedback. In this way, you will get into little bit like a good side, like in a good books of eBay. And do this, let at least get like a five feedback, buy some cheap item or buy something that you need and then start listing slowly. So maybe just list three, four items, five items first, get some sales, get some feedback. When the customer will leave you feedback, then you can obviously increase the listing slowly. Do not all of the sudden, like at least for minimum 10 days, use your account to buy the cheap item. You don't have to buy like every day, but buy cheap, cheap sort of like four or five items, the cheapest one that you can afford and build a feedback and then start listing slowly, slowly, get some sales. And this is the way you will be able to increase the listing day by day as well. Now let's talk about what you can do if your account got banned already. Like obviously there are the ways to deal with it. So let's talk about them now. So first of all, let's say your personal details are banned on eBay. You used your original name, original address, all that kind of stuff as well, but you are still banned. In this case, what I will recommend doing is going for a limited company. Limited company are considered as a separate entity. You will be the director of a limited company, but let's say before you created an account on eBay, your name was Zencha. Now that account, that detail has been banned. Now me as a Zencha will go and open a limited company called Zencha Limited. Limited company have their own bank account. They have their, they considered as a separate entity. So once I will uh, create an account by using a limited company detail, this will be treated as a new profile. So nine out of 10 time, if your details are banned, I suggest going through a limited company road. The second thing, if your physical address, let's say your home address is also involved in the ban as well, consider buying a virtual address. One once you buy a virtual address, they are very, very cheap nowadays. You can Google virtual address and many of them will come up as well. When you buy a virtual address, then you are registering your account using a different address as well, which is like a brand new in, in eBay and Amazon detail. So this is the way you will be on the safe side. In a point number three, let's say your computer IP address is banned, your internet like IP address is banned at the end of day, it can be pretty expensive to replace all those. So what I recommend in this case is use some sort of proxy provider as well. What I will recommend using is Node Maven. The way you can use Node Maven is very, very simple. Node Maven, they have been testing different, different proxy providers as well to manage your like multiple accounts on Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok account and they're gonna give you the most reliable and cleanest proxies to create. This is the way your account, even if you, let's say you have more than one account as well, you don't want to use same uh, same internet connection, same sort of IP for both of them. So this is the way you can actually create the multiple uh, proxies inside the mode Maven and you will be able to have a different IP for a different account as well, which will be dedicated IP for that account. So inside the node Maven, you will be able to see if your account is likely to get banned because these websites can also see if you're using some sort of proxy as well. So you can use something like a pixel scan to know how high is the score. The highest is the score, then you are most likely to get banned because the websites will know that you are using some sort of proxies. The reason I don't recommend using like a different types of like VPNs and different like proxies, like the most popular one, because I found out almost 90 to 95% of their proxies are not clean. So you most likely to get banned. That's the reason I recommend using Node Maven. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the link for them inside the description along with the, with the coupon code. If you use that, you will get two gigabytes of free traffic as well. So check the link inside the description. It's very easy to use. It takes like literally five minutes and they have uh, like a, a free access to get started as well. So let's say you're doing everything right and you like have done what I have suggested in this video and your account is banned. Like what you can do to get it back and like sometime you get the message here, your account is permanently banned, all that kind of stuff as well. I don't recommend using some sort of services. Like there are some people on a Fiverr, there are some people on Instagram. I see all the time, you might see some people offering the services inside this YouTube comments as well. 
those are all scams trust me anyone offering that kind of services inside my comment report that comment because those are just there to take money outside like from your desperation you know what i mean same thing on a fiverr as well the only way you can do is to call their customer services explain what happened most of the time just say look i have some stuff that i want to sell say i just want to get rid of the item which i have uh like i no longer use those item i want to sell those item online and i want to just get rid of them tell them that you take care of whatever happened like whatever the reason your account was banned at the first place this won't happen again talk to them on a customer services and i can guarantee you nine out of ten times the issue will be sorted and they will give your account back like other than calling you can reach out on something like uh, x or facebook or that kind of stuff as well like all those companies they have their customer services on the social media platform as well that might be easier for you to use it and i have suggested all of this to many people and i would say the results of 10 out of 10 check the links inside the description and i will see you soon